Hey guys, Marty here. Um, I just wanted to do a quick update about how the flashback race is going. Um, <clears throat> as you can see on the screen, I've got I'm currently uh, position one on the ladder. Um, you can see these people are coming up. I just slept like about five hours. I tried to sleep longer, um, but I couldn't fall back to sleep after maybe 30 or 40 minutes of laying in bed. Um, so I figured I was just wasting time, and I might as well get up. <clears throat> so I'm just having something to eat and uh, getting ready to play. Uh, yesterday I played 26 hours straight almost, although only 25 and a half of it were actually during the league because I started my stream uh, 30 minutes before the league started. Um, this is my current tree. <clears throat> it's a little bit weird because I dropped a Varanastra and I have not found a good axe yet. I would rather use a good axe, but I just haven't had any luck at all with crafting. Um, so you can see I've picked up I've done the phase acro version. <clears throat> I haven't really found many good jewels. I've got two. I've got this like flat fizz and flat life, and then I've got this one which is like attack speed and some res. I don't even need the fire res anymore, but I do need the lightning res, so figured I might as well take it. <clears throat> um, for those who aren't aware, uh, the way Varanastra works is it counts as all one-handed melee weapon types. So I kept getting asked like why I have axe nodes even though I'm using a sword. The reason is my sword counts as an axe. Um, and I need these nodes for Onslaught. But, yeah, so I mean, we're doing pretty well. Uh, my gear's alright. I'm still using Tabula. Uh, all of the rest of it's like, okay. Uh, this amulet's pretty crazy. Uh, my boots are okay, but only single res, and it's really being a problem. I, I, like, really want to drop my resistance nodes. You can see I have more than enough fire and cold res to drop my 30 resistance on the tree. But I don't have the lightning res to do that. <coughs> If I could drop those nodes, I would gain a lot of power. Like, I really need these uh, bleed nodes. Because right now my chance to bleed is only 75%. So sometimes when I'm attacking, like, the mobs don't pop. Most of the time they do, but when they don't, it's, like, very noticeable. Uh, versus having 100% chance to bleed. Uh, I dropped a Lion's Roar, and then I... Ancient Orbed another one, I think. Um, this is the currency look, like got quite a bit of fusings ready for whenever I finish up this lore weave. I still need uh, 44 more rings. I'm also working on chancing bellies gradually. Uh, my map pool is pretty good. I got 13 shaped underground seas. I got a couple toxic sewers. I'm going to edit my filter a little bit before I go live today. Uh, I got this elder spawn. It's like, it's workable, but it's pretty bad. And I'm not really confident to kill... Um, Eradicator until I replace the tabula but once I do that I'm gonna set up an elder ring that it's not a perfect one but it'll be able to hit underground sea and uh, toxic sewer so basically it's gonna like loop around here um, come down this way and it'll be 30 maps but channel will be vulnerable <clears throat> but I think that'll be fine because I can basically just like clear out flooded mine if uh, underground sea ever gets lost and then from there I can take back underground C, hopefully set the ring back up, and if I lose it after a while of having it, I probably will have a big enough map return from it to not have to worry. Um, you can see I got 83 Atlas completion right now. I still have a couple of maps up here I need to complete. Uh, I still need Vault, but yeah, once I get these things, I'm basically good to go. Uh, I'm missing is finishing up the Elder setup. Uh, but that probably won't happen today. Um, so yeah, everything's going pretty well. I just wanted to update you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Oh, and uh, a little bit about my Atlas strategy. Um, basically, the way I did this is I would complete as much as I could on a tier until I ran out of maps on that tier. So like I obviously did all tier 1s, that's easy. Did all tier 2s, that was pretty easy too. Except I didn't have um, <coughs> Desert. But you can just 3 to 1 beaches into desert, so you know I don't worry about that. And I just moved up to tier 3, and I worked on tier 3. They changed the atlas um, last league, so that you're more likely to drop maps that are not connected, or that are not completed. So what that means is, if I'm running alleyways, and I have cage completed, but I don't have port completed, and I don't have arcade completed then I'm more likely to drop a port or an arcade than I am to drop a cage. So that makes it so much easier to complete your atlas now. Um, also, in this particular race, you have access to horizon orbs and uh, 
carbon shards. Lol. I have six shards after this entire race so far. But anyways, you have access to horizon orbs. Um, so it was really easy to just use those to fill out my atlas. And in fact, I should probably do that to work on uh, finishing up these last tier nines now. Um, I guess I'll do that when I start today. But anyways, I hope this helps, guys. And, uh, you know... Hopefully you guys want to watch me. I'll be live on Twitch in maybe 10 to 15 minutes once I change my filter a little bit. Um, thank you all for watching and have a good day.